Every tower in Balloons Tower Defense 6 has a unique way to pop balloons. For example, the dart monkey just throws its cute little darts. The boomerang monkey, well, I mean, it's kind of in the name, it, it throws boomerangs. Wizard monkey use magic. They have so many different ways to pop balloons. But one way is definitely better than all the others. And that's Captain Churchill, because he has a tank. Look at him. I mean, he doesn't just throw darts around. He has a full functioning tank. What are the balloons supposed to do against a tank? We are going to be getting level 21 Captain Churchill, which is going to be so very awesome. How do you get level 21 Churchill? Well, it's pretty simple. All we need to do is we need to get Churchill to level 21. Then after we get Churchill to level 21, we need to get him, or we have to get him to level 20. I'm sorry, level 20. And then after he gets to level 20, that's when we have to get 1 million pops which i know sounds absolutely redonkulous but we're gonna make it work because churchill he's worth it okay he's worth it look at him he's beautiful absolutely gorgeous but churchill's like look i don't want to stand here with like a dart and just throw a dart like i want a tank like i want an actual battle ready like mecha suit that i can just like blast the balloons with and i respect that okay and there we go there's captain churchill boom Laser bombs are primed. You hear him? He's ready to go. What are his two abilities? So armor piercing shells. Shots can pop black balloons and do extra damage to ceramics. Duration increases as Churchill levels up. Moab Barrage. Launches a barrage of shells at 10 Moab class balloons on screen, dealing massive damage each time. Those are two really nice abilities to have for sure. Churchill does level up a lot slower compared to other heroes, and he is probably the most expensive hero in the game. But man, is he worth it. Churchill is absolutely insane. But we are going to need a lot of things to make sure he is as strong as he can possibly be. We want to just buff this guy because we want Churchill to get all the pops, right? Because we need Churchill to have 1 million. 1 million. He's got 200. So he's like 0.0002% of the way or something. Something absolutely ridiculous like that. Do have Crosspath mod on. And Crosspath just makes my life. I love Crosspath. Crosspath's awesome. I mean, eventually we'll have so much money that we'll be able to just like fully upgrade our our boy Captain Churchill. Like we'll just be, we'll just be able to full send it. I've almost never used Churchill. So up to three times popping power, increased attack range, adds fast firing machine gun. Oh, binoculars that allow Church level six. Okay, you know we'll take that. And level five adds a fast firing machine gun attack. I love that. Like, literally, it just adds a whole nother attack. The machine gun is so good. The machine gun is absolutely crazy. Look at the pop count. We're already at 1,000. We're under 1% of the way. I still, right? Okay, yeah, 10,000. 10, oh my gosh, we can't hit the, that one camo balloon. We need to level up one more time. Captain Churchill, we need to keep getting more pops. We need a million pops. Do we sell this monkey buccaneer? Yeah, I don't need it. That's an extra $200. Churchill can pop anything. Churchill's just absolutely goaded. Goaded, by the way, stands for greatest of all time. G-O-A-T. That's what I mean when I say goaded. I saw a couple of comments where I'm like, why is goaded? Shells deal more damage. It can explode four times instead of three. All right, this, see, this is good. I also went with a firing range. Mainly because, well, I feel like Captain Churchill's in a tank. So I feel like going to like a military base is kind of like the play. And on top, wait, can we not deal with... Oh, right! The machine gun can pop those types of balloons. Turbo damage laser bombs. But the machine gun can pop the black balloons. So even if you don't have the ability, Churchill's actually pretty good. Do we even need a village? I feel like... I guess we want an MIB village just so we don't have to use turbo damage laser bombs in order to deal with like black balloons because that could be a problem for us in the future if we're not completely ready for it all right there's banana research facility oh that's a lot of black balloons all right let's boost that uh-oh uh-oh we lost we lost two lives devastating we're about to have to go up against a moab which i'm not worried about in the slide look at that we already have another moab we all we have another banana research facility like right off the bat just ready to go no i lost another that's devastating news. No! Pop the Moab! Oh my gosh, is he gonna be able to? One green balloon got by from that. That's devastating news. One single green uh, green balloon. There we go. Turbo damage laser bombs! Alright, I wanna go ahead. I wanna put a village down. We have, we're starting to make some decent money now. 
So I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna get this village. We're gonna get jungle drums, which will make him attack faster. We can also get MIB, which is uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That is why I wanted to get MIB, so that way those pesky zebra balloons can't make it through anymore. And then we can deal with all of that. Increased attack speed. There we go. Let's go ahead and just get another banana research facility. Because that just makes all of our lives way better. We only need, what, like another $10,000? Which we're gonna get in just like a few seconds. Like, look at that. Look at that. We literally already have it. Banana Central. Boom. How much money is that? $1,500. Wait, what happens if we get Central Market too? Does it make more money? $1,600. That's bonkers. That's bonkers, my friends. Let's go ahead. Let's get in. Let's get a little alchemist. Let's get. Let's do that, and then we can almost get berserker brew too. Holy cow! That's so much money. That's so much money. All right. So let's go. Shells can explode five times. Moab barrage launches a barrage of shells up to ten Moab class balloons on screen, dealing massive amounts of damage each time. Increased popping power per shell. We're gonna want that. Shells can get additional increased damage and can explode six times. Armor pops two layers of balloons to do extra damage. Machine gun and main gun pop one additional layer per shot. That's really good. All attacks do extra damage versus fortified balloons. Increased attack speed. Armor piercing shells do even more damage. Okay. All shells pop an extra layer of balloon. Okay. Shells can explode seven times. Moab barrage shells and main gun do massively increased damage per hit. And that's level 20. We already got... And look at this. Fly me to the moon? What? Okay, I am so ready for this. So what we need to do now is we need Churchill to get a couple more pops. And once he gets more pops, we'll be right back. With 81%, let's get called arms on Homeland Defense. I mean, we have 2.4 million dollars right now. These banks have been working overtime to make us just some crazy money. What if we get Monkey Wall Street? Does that actually change anything? I don't know if that actually changes anything and gets us more money. I'm not entirely sure, but we're already at 92%. We are so close to getting the level 21 Churchill. It feels like I've been here. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a lot of DDTs. Okay, that's fine. We can use the boost to just keep going. We're at 98%. Let's go. I'm actually so hyped to see what this tower is going to look like. Let's go. And boom. Holy cow. That looks so cool. I don't need this. Look at this. Captain Churchill. Fly me to the moon. Look at the range. That's global. That's a global range hero right there. There's no chance anything's able to get past this. No shot. This guy's up. Round 95. Let's see how he does against the DDT. Well, that was the DDTs. That was, uh, that was that. And now it's gone. They're just gone. They don't stand a chance. Round 96. Let's go. I love. Look at this. I love how it's like blue. And purple, that's such a cool, like, color. I, I love how, like, subtle and simple it is, honestly. It's not, like, super flashy or anything, but it, it gets the job done. Oh, this banana farm's been a bank this whole time and hasn't made it. Wait, that was round 100? What do you mean? I can't believe that this was a bank and just didn't make any money the whole time. I feel like such a dum-dum. I think we need to take this into sandbox and see how powerful it really is. All right, here we are in sandbox mode, and let's just give this a couple of tries. So let's go and let's do like round 150. What can this do against round one? Okay, well, clearly round 150 is a little too easy. So what about round 200? Round 200 surely will put up a fight, right? Okay, yeah. Round 200 is definitely making it a lot more difficult for this guy. He still has... Look at how many pops he has. All right. And we didn't even use any of the abilities. We can use that ability and that ability at the same time, too. And that is really strong. Okay. Round 300 is probably going to be way too difficult for this tower. Let's give it a try, though. Oh, my gosh. Is it going to be able to deal with round 300? It's like freezing the game. Okay. Use our abilities. Can it beat round 300? No shot. No shot is going to beat it. There's way too many balloons right now. There's way too much. It's like lagging the whole game. Look how many pops Churchill is getting. He's getting so many pops so fast. Oh, my. Is my, is my game going to crash? What's happening? Holy cow. There's so much going on right now. It literally, the game is about to crash. Holy cow. 
We can't do it. It just crashes the game. Okay, get rid of all the balloons. I think it actually might be able to, but there's just so many, like, things happening. It's just lagging the game. And that's where we're going to end off this video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more awesome content.